Following a record-breaking number of races in 20 countries last season, F1 is set to do it all again this year by increasing the number of races to 23, assuming a replacement is found for the cancelled Russian Grand Prix, which is expected. That means that drivers who have had a slow start to the season still have time to improve, while those who have excelled cannot relax just yet. But there's more drama in the mix thanks to rumors of driver movement. At the weekend, Spanish journalist Albert Fabrega hinted that a grid swap would be on the cards, while rumors on the driver market suggested that Oscar Piastri, who was won in Formula 3 and Formula 2, might get his seat. Given that the number of spots on the grid is limited to 20, any new arrival would mean a departure. But there have been enough rumors to make a few people nervous about their positions, and Daily Star Sport has looked at five in particular. Due to his father's vast wealth and his ties to the Williams team, the Canadian driver has have been scrutinized for his position on the grid on a regular basis. But it's his on-track performances that have already brought him into the limelight this season. Now in his third season in Formula One, the team will have come to expect some results from him. And optimism would have risen last year after a seven-point haul in back-to-back -back races in Hungary and Belgium. Piastri would be a good fit for Williams, who have a history of developing young drivers, as evidenced by George Russell's development in recent years, and reports suggest he's being eyed for the team for 2023, though this could be accelerated. Sebastian Vettel, a former Formula One world champion, is one of the most experienced drivers on the grid and provides Austin Martin with a well-known face to represent the brand, with Vettel's reach far exceeding Lance Stroll's. When asked about his future ahead of the Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix, the German was cagey, not ruling out retirement, but Austin Martin team principal Mike Crack later stated that not renewing his contract would be foolish. A poor start to the season has fueled speculation about Vettel's long-term future, while the team's ownership has also made headlines following confirmation from the Volkswagen Group that both Porsche and Audi will compete in Formula One in the coming years potentially causing significant changes to the team. Lewis Hamilton's mid-season exit from Mercedes is unlikely, but given the team's continued struggles and the seven-time world champion being vastly outperformed by teammate George Russell, speculation about his retirement at the end of the season has resurfaced. For his part, Hamilton has stated that he is committed until the end of his current contract in 2023, but Mercedes' problems could put that to the test. And it's no secret that Hamilton's position was uncertain following last season's dramatic and contentious title race with Max Verstappen. Big questions will continue to loom over the veteran as he sits in arguably the worst car he has ever driven in Formula One. And as his interests outside of motorsport grow following confirmation of his involvement in a consortium looking to buy Chelsea. Pierre Gasly was unceremoniously fired by Red Bull in the past but he was rehired by the team's junior team, Alpha Tari, and has excelled in that role with his standout achievement being victory at the Italian Grand Prix last season. Red Bull has the option of bringing him back, but their current crop of drivers is stable, with Max Verstappen defending his world title and Sergio Perez pursuing his title ambitions. That could pave the way for the sort of swap that has been rumored on the grid giving Gasly a platform to further his career and a ride in a car that is more competitive than the one he currently drives. And one move in particular could pique his interest. Danielle Ricciardo has an illustrious career, but has had numerous setbacks since his departure from Red Bull, including an ill-fated stint at Renault and a period with McLaren where he has been consistently outshone by Lando Norris. Norris is the team's main man, having signed a new contract extension this year and Ricciardo has been unable to compete, his most recent misfortune being a collision at Imola, which sent him to the back of the pack and out of contention for points, a position he's been in three or four races this season. But Claren could use his relationship with Red Bull to see Ricciardo move to AlphaTauri and Gasly move in the opposite direction, as his wages are reportedly worth 11.8 million pounds per year. Max Verstappen took his second win of the season last weekend as Red Bull Racing earned their first 1-2 finish in 2016 at the Emilia Romana Grand Prix in Imola. It tied things up between Verstappen and Charles Leclerc on two race wins each ahead of the championship's first trip to the USA in two weekends. 
Whilst the race in Italy wasn't the most exciting so far, it has been an interesting opening to the latest season, and it could be about to take a big twist. According to Spanish F1 journalist Alberto Fabrega, two drivers are about to swap teams, although we didn't confirm which drivers they are. The market is already moving. Things are moving, but I can't say because they told me not to say anything, Fabrega said on the rumor. The one that leaves does not surprise me. The one that arrives? Yes. Well, it is a change of drivers between teams. It's certainly something that will make for interesting viewing for fans and for those who will be excited for the next season of Drive to Survive at the beginning of 2023. Whilst there was no extra information on who could be swapped, there have been some rumors that Lewis Hamilton could be one of those changing teams. The seven-time driver world champion has struggled so far this season, even seeing himself lapped by Verstappen on the way to the Dutchman's victory in Italy. After the race, the 37-year-old admitted that his title chances were over, but he sounded defiant enough to suggest the swap won't be him. We're not fighting for this championship, but we're fighting to understand the car and progress through the year, he said after the race. We have had amazing times together, highs and lows together, and I'm 100% committed to this team and there is nowhere else I want to be. Just because we've hit a rough patch, it is not in my DNA to pack up. Another rumor claimed that the swap could see Danielle Ricciardo swap McLaren for Alpha Tari, with Pierre Gasly going in the opposite direction. The Australian has also struggled this season and has regularly finished behind teammate Lando Norris since joining the Woking-based team last season. Sebastian Vettel, in an Austin Martin team that has so far only picked up five points from the four races, could be involved in a swap with Williams' Alex Albon. In a break from the traditional format, the Grand Prix will take place on a Saturday in November and could potentially follow the American national holiday of Thanksgiving. The track will be 3.8 miles long and has estimated top speeds of 212 miles per hour. Drivers will race over 50 laps past some of the city's most iconic landmarks, hotels, and casinos. It is set to become the third American race in the Formula One calendar, joining Miami and Austin. President and Chief Executive of Formula One, Stefano Domenicali, said, This is an incredible moment for Formula One that demonstrates the huge appeal and growth of our sport with a third race in the U.S. Las Vegas is a destination known around the world for its excitement, hospitality, thrills, and of course, the famous Strip. There's no better place for Formula One to race than the global entertainment capital of the world, and we cannot wait to be here next year. Las Vegas has previously hosted Formula One in the 1980s, with two races held in the parking lot of the Caesars Palace Hotel. Last week, Domenicali told Sky Sports that the Formula One calendar could grow even further, with Africa touted a potential host for future races. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications to see more of our future videos. With that said, keep enjoying our videos, and I'll see you in the next video.